Don't tell me this doesn't look unreal. So flavorful and juicy, it is the perfect little bun. Hi everybody and welcome to my kitchen. It's me Manny from Manny's Made at Home. Today we're going to be doing one of my throw and go recipes and this one is going to blow your mind. It is so simple but it's jam packed of flavor. We're going to be making slow cooker pulled pork with homemade coleslaw. Let's look at the ingredients here we're going to need. As per usual throw and go recipes, this one's going to be so, so easy, you're not going to believe it. First things first, turn on your crock pot to a high setting and then we start throwing in our ingredients. We've got some small paprika, chili powder, cumin, garlic powder, thyme, brown sugar, pepper and some salt. And I'll be going with some kind of wet ingredients. I've got some mustard here and for the last thing we've got some cider. And I'm just going to give it a mix with a spoon. I kind of want the mustard and all the spices to distribute evenly. This is the typical ingredients you use for kind of like a barbecue sauce, but feel free to tailor it to your own taste. And now we're gonna go in with our pork. So I've got some pork shoulder here, and I'm just gonna add it into our crock pot, and just like toss it around in that sauce, or marinate. And believe it or not, that is it. We're gonna let it run on a high heat for five hours, or on low for eight hours. So I'll see you when we're done. All right, it's been four hours. Let's have a look at how our pork is doing. It's looking great and it smells so gorgeous in here. It's nice and soft, so we're almost there. I'm gonna let it go for a bit longer and in the meantime, I get my coleslaw going. Okay, for my coleslaw, I like to use some white cabbage and also some purple cabbage. You can shred this with a knife, a box grater, or even use a food processor if you have one. I don't wanna be messing around, so I'm just gonna do with a knife. Just make sure you take out the core, because that's very tough. And then just using your knife, shred it a little bit. Okay, and just put it into a large bowl. And I'm gonna do the same with my white cabbage. And I'm just gonna give the cabbage a rinse. And next I'm gonna grate some carrot. And into the bowl it goes. All right, and now for the dressing. So first I've got some mayonnaise, and I've got some Dijon mustard. I have some celery salt, sugar, and some white vinegar and cider vinegar and salt and pepper to taste. And I just give it a really good mix with a spoon or two spoons. Okay, that looks good. So I'm just gonna cover it up and put it in the fridge for about an hour and in the meantime, my pork will be ready. Okay, it is time, it smells so delicious. Let's have a look how our pork is doing now. It looks perfect. Oh, it's so soft. Oh, this is amazing. That is exactly what we want. Now I need to take it out of the crock pot and we can shred it. All right, let me give this a go. It's so super tender. Okay, I'm just gonna grab two forks and start shredding it up. No effort required. It's just falling apart. Oh my God. Okay, next I'm gonna add in a little bit of barbecue sauce onto my pork. And I also wanna take some of the bracing liquid. I'm just gonna toss that around really well. And that's it, let me tidy up really quickly and we can serve ourselves a portion. I cannot wait, can't even speak, I'm just salivating so much, it's unreal. Okay, it's finally time, let me assemble a bun. Just got my brioche bun here and I'm gonna go in with a very healthy amount of my pulled pork. It is the star of the show after all. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a coleslaw as well. Top bun on, and that is our delicious pulled pork bun with coleslaw. Okay, the time has come. I just need to stop talking and get this in my mouth right now. I don't know if it's gonna fit. It's amazing. The pork is so full of flavor, it's so succulent and juicy. And the coleslaw does bring a lot of freshness to the bun. It is unreal. There's no other way to describe it. Now that we're coming to barbecue season, it is the perfect thing to have. Make sure that you give it a try. You're not gonna regret it. If you enjoyed this recipe, make sure you leave me a big like and a comment below with all of your thoughts. I can't wait to hear your feedback. If you enjoyed this recipe, check out my throw and go series. I will link it below. I've made some delicious beef pop rolls, duck and split pea soup. And we've got more coming up. Share with all of your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. 
If you tried this or any of my other recipes and want to post them on Instagram, please tag me. I love to see how you guys get on. With that, I'll leave you for this video and enjoy.